Talking fishing, talking fishing, nothing but fishing, we're talking fishing. And uh, welcome to Product of Week. Now, last week we talked about fishing combos, rods and reels for kingfish. This week we want to talk about whiting rods and reels because there are specialist reels. And I'm not saying you need to have a specialist rod and reel for every species, but it certainly does help, doesn't it, Trolley? That's right, absolutely. What we're looking at here is some whiting rods of some different um, price points, I would say, or different... Yeah. different uh, quality, even. Quality? Yeah. Absolutely. So um, we're starting off with the... Uh, no, no, we're starting off with the next one. Oh, we starting with the next one. <laughs> <laughs> the fighting whiting, yep. which is actually a... Uh, oh, it's a Nexa fighting whiting, so it's a graphite rod. Yes. With a nibble tip. So yep. I, can, I don't know if we can pick that up on camera, but the nibble tip actually... No, we can't see that. The nibble tip comes out, and That's you can it. see that. Maybe if we've blind. got a wide, wide camera or your camera trolley, we might be able to see that, but I'm going to yeah. get that back in there. And um, so very, very fine tip yeah. on it. So you can see that. Actually, you can see that quite well there. Yeah, on that, on that one. That and there. you can... That's a really light like tip, that. isn't it? It's a very light tip. That'll handle any whiting bite. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and it's a great little light beginner's rod, if you like. Nexave 1000, you don't need a lot of line for whiting. No. So the little 1000 reel is just a perfect, nice little balanced outfit for that light rod. Yeah, that's got uh, three ball bearings and one roller ball bearing. That's yep. your Shimano Nexave. Yep. Like you say, they're a great size. This particular one's got your cork handle. So uh, some people like cork handles because yep. it actually gives you good feedback through your rod. Yep. So when you actually got uh, a rod like this, you're actually trying to offer no resistance. It's sort of like fishing, you know, whiting sort of comes into that, that category of brim or even freshwater mm. yellow belly where you're trying to offer no resistance. And with a tip like that, you can pick up all those sort of little little movements, which is really, really good. Feedback through a cork handle, um, coupled with a little reel like that, that's, a, that's an excellent little combo, that one there. All right, the next one we'll look at here. We're all right now, David? Yep. Is the, the prowler. The prowler. Now this one, this one you've been, you've been, you've had this one for a long time in your, your yep. stable of, and that's all I personally rods. fish with. Yeah, it's yeah. it is just a great rod, uh, and same with the reel, the neck save. And I'm, I'm not going to say I look after my rods and reels the best. Yep. Um, you know, you're out on the boat and they get covered in salt, and you, know, you might be out all day, and you stop whiting fishing, you go for calamari or something different, and they're covered in salt. These reels just last. I mean, they've got a 10-year yeah. warranty, yeah. but they just last. They don't deteriorate. Um, That's right. They're just fantastic. And the rod itself is, is it 7.6 or 7.9? That one's um, a... I think it's probably... Ri there you go, seven foot six. Yep. And again, it's got the, if I can there a sit there, it's got the removable nibble tip. So, and it's a nice light graphite one, that one, fiberglass rod, yeah. and that will handle any good whiting. Look, some, some guys love nibble tips, and the beauty of a nibble tip is you can virtually, you'll sense in yeah. that tip if the whiting actually licks the bait, truly. Yeah. Licks it. There. It's just fantastic. It is so fine. It's got the orange, uh, the last little piece. You can't quite see that on camera. If I can bend it round, um, it's not going to snap. I know how flexible these are. Yeah. Um, nice little orange bit, so you can see it every little bite, and even yeah. at night you can see it. So, how'd, and your, how'd your eye operation go? Can you see that? I can see that all right. And I can actually <laughs> thread the fishing line through there. I just all these lovely lights in the studio play havoc with me, yeah. but out on the bay, I'm I'm fantastic with that. Yeah. Now, a lot of people. Um, like I said, they like nibble tips, yep. but some people don't. And they just want that heavier, particularly if they're fishing Western Port Whiting yep. or offshore, they want something that's just a little bit stronger in the rod, um, not so flexible, because quite often you're hanging, you know, perhaps two or three ounces of lead off the end Correct. in those high currents. Yep. So we've actually designed the same rod in a slightly shorter Rod, it's still called the Prowler, but it's the Prowler Heavy. That's and right. It hasn't got a reel on it, but uh, you know, perfectly matched again to the two and a half. And that's just a one piece, no nibble tip, just a little bit stronger, and it's an actually, uh, yeah. it's a great one. I know we've got a, we've probably got the wrong image up on the screen for people at home. We'll put that back up in a minute. But the Prowler yeah. Heavy is a nice little that's rod. Right. So anyone, anyone going over to um, South Australia and targeting those big whiting over there, yeah, that's, that's the sort the one. of rod. It's almost sort of doubles up as a snapper rod too, yep. like snapper rod that one. Yeah. So it's a good one to have. In in your um, in your arsenal as far as uh, as, yep. as rods go, that one there. All right, lucky last, and we'll go yep. through this one pretty quickly. Is Whiting Royalty? It's a bit of the Rolls Royce of I the Whiting. I love this rod. 
It's crisp, this, isn't it? This is a lovely rod. I mean, I know you guys use it down here for your whiting all the time. Yeah. It's, it's basically a full graphite rod. Yeah. It's got so much. It's just like your, your, your normal car or race car, isn't it? Yeah. It's just it's, so It's light. crisp. It's light. Um, it's got a bit of bling about it. Yep. That's why they called it royalty. Um, lovely outfit by Shimano. And the X-Age 2500, which again has got plenty of bling, a bit of gold, and it's just a nice reel. Yeah. You go into a store and you pick up reels and you go and give them a bit of a spin. Yeah. When you get to the X-Age, four ball bearing, one uh, roller bearing in that one yep. there, they are just so, so smooth. They are really, really a pleasure to use. Longer butt on this one, so it fits in a lot of your rod holders down yep. here for you guys who bait fish. Up our way, we do actually use it for yellow belly fishing. Yeah, there so you go. we'd actually drift in the boat, you know, get a bait with a with a hook with a hook and a, a sinker just above the bait, and we yep. drift the Murray River for this for yellow belly fishing there too. You go. So it serves a few different purposes, and and coupled up with that reel, that's 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 an excellent outfit for your whiting down here and, yep. a, and a few of your freshwater species. Beautiful. There you go. Whiting combos. Like I said, you don't necessarily need them, but I tell you what, it helps with your fishing if you've got specialist gear for specialist species. So check them out in your local tackle shop neck saves and x ages that's what you're after and the old whiting royalty is just the bee's knees of fishing rods talking fishing talking fishing nothing but fishing talking fishing if it's fact about fishing that you want to know then tune in folks because this is the show we'll show you